And now, race fans, it is now time for opening ceremonies. If you would, please rise if you're able and remove your racing gear. Please bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day of racing you've given us. Please look over our drivers, crews, and fans in attendance. Please continue to watch over our law enforcement, EMS, fire, healthcare officials, and public safety officials. Please look over our brave military personnel as they protect us on a daily basis. In your name we pray, amen. And now please remain standing for the plane of our national anthem. Thank you very much, race fans. Getting ready for the first event of the afternoon. It will be the Legend Series event for their 25-lap main event. It will be the Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers 25 for the Diesel Boys Race Parts Legend Series. Getting ready for the starting lineup here this afternoon. Starting on the pole is going to be the number 16 of Jacob Kinney from Indianapolis, Indiana. To his outside will be the number 5 from Slinger, Wisconsin, Lincoln Kane. Inside row number two, it is going to be Johnny Weaver from Noblesville, Indiana, in the number 24W. To his outside, it's going to be John Robbins from Frankton, Indiana, in the number 19. Inside row number three, it will be the number 33 machine from Henryville, Indiana. It will be Clayton Bohannon. To his outside, going to be the track champion at the Indianapolis Speed Drum, Xavier King, in the number 84. Inside row number four, it will be the Hunter Willis, number nine machine from Bowling Green, Kentucky. To his outside, Ashton Morello from Indianapolis, Indiana, in the number 11. Inside row number five, it will be the number 15 machine of Tim Skinner, Jr. from Indianapolis. To his outside, the number 59 of Corey Adams. Inside row number six, it will be the Indianapolis, Indiana native in the number 53. It will be Zachariah Brady. To his outside, it will be James Vanover in the number 12 from Indianapolis. Starting 13th, it will be Kristen Hammer from Indianapolis, Indiana, in the number four machine. And then starting 14th will be John Puckett from Marcosville, Indiana, in the 7P. Inside row number eight, it will be the number 94V of Del Vanover, Douglas Vanover from Greenfield, Indiana, and Jack Receiver from Floyd Knobs, Indiana, the number 84R. Last row looking like this. Going to be Dean Bradshaw from Martinsville, Indiana, the number 12 to his outside. It'll be Krugler's number 19K machine. That is Ryan Kluger from Noblesville, Indiana. And that will be your 18 starters getting ready and set for their Kentucky Anna Ford dealers 25. And Hawk here at Adams, here we go. First event of the afternoon. You'll have the top three down in Red Ball and Recycling Victory Lane. Thank you, Will. You just see the officials lining up this field for our first event. As you said, the Kentucky and Ford Dealers 25 for the Diesel Boys Race Parts Legends. Getting this season underway here today here for the season opener at the Salem Speedway, fueled by the Hoosier Lottery. So we see these legend cars a lot, Hawk Carrot Adams, and of course the Yamaha engines underneath of the hood, a motorcycle engine. Uh, but we see these a lot around the country. Of course, Charlotte Motor Speedway has the big $1 million to win. They have a race week with Bandoleros and the Legend Series. And that is why you see out front, INEX Legends is the National Series points that the Legend Series are on. So Legend Series racing in the United States, pretty big. 
Yeah, you see uh, a lot of stuff around the country about legends. We look at all a lot of different tracks and uh, uh, take part on uh, talking about all this stuff. And you see legends all over the place. They're very big, very popular situation. And uh, they're growing in numbers here in this area once again. I know they get a lot of them up north at the speed drone. We see a big car counts up there. And uh, right now, it looks like the legend cars are uh, starting to grow in numbers here. So uh, they always put on a good show, especially when they got a lot of cars out there, a lot of good competition, a lot of close competition, a lot of good young drivers out there we're going to see out here today. And now if you're watching on the broadcast, Facebook Live Look In and the YouTube page, you see right there a beautiful look. If you're watching also at SalemSpeedway.tv, you're getting a beautiful look at the Legend Series cars down on the short track. See our cameraman, Bobby, down there. We appreciate him, as always, getting us some great live look-in coverage for the TV here at Salem Speedway. Getting ready and set. Now, another thing is track facts. Looking at the quarter-mile track here at Salem Speedway in the infield, like we talked about, Owen Thompson had an ideal. Once Louisville Speedway closed down, they decided, hey, where are those figure eight drivers other than the sports drone going to race at? We need something different here at Salem Speedway. So, well, 0.555 mile, it's over a half mile track. Why don't we put a quarter mile track in the infield here at Salem Speedway? So once Louisville Speedway closed in 2001, they started the construction of this track. Now, what's the thing we look at? We talk about off camera, if you will. Zero banking, almost has no banking. And the other thing about this inner track is we see it a lot, and you'll see that today with the Crown Vix. It's easy to get off the berm here or the inner field. Uh, you'll see dust being fly, flew up on the track and whatnot, and it will make these very slick conditions, and that's what we see a lot of. And these Hoosier racing tires on these legend cars do not like the sand and the dust and the grit out there. Yeah, no doubt about it. There is no speed bumps, if you will, on that inner course there, on the inside there where the asphalt meets the grass. So a lot of these guys want to cheat just a little bit, try to get down there as low as they can. And as you said, they kick up that sand and dust, makes it even more slipperier. And without the banking, too, it is tough to get on that outside. So if you're on that, uh, get in some of that loose gravel there on the inside, you might slip a little bit, and the guy right behind you is ready to take advantage of that, if you will, get on that inside groove. Now for the math equation or an equation in general, when you have no banking and it's hard to pass, what do you have to use? The front bumper. And we see a lot of tempers fly, even with the Crown Vix, because, of course, now it's kind of opposite. The high bank here at Salem Speedway, the preferred groove is the high groove, right? You want that run off exit. Well, here we go. On the inner track, the preferred groove, like Sportstrom, is the inside. You have to use that bumper to bump your competitor out of the way. And Legend Series cars begin to move off. Yellow flag, Barry Smithley down there on the flag stand. Getting ready, race fans, for the 78th season opener here at Salem Speedway. Jacob Kinney and Lincoln Kane on the front row. Who is going to pick up the first checkered flag of 2024? 25 laps from now, we are going to find that out in the Kentucky and Ford dealers 25 here this afternoon. Making sure everyone's transponders check out and getting set and racing. Now, a lot of these Legend Series drivers, they raced in Florida over the winter months during speed weeks down at the Citrus County Speedway. Inverness, Florida. A lot of these teams went down there and competed, as well as the number 33 of Clayton Bohannon's number 33 machine. He competed down there in Citrus County. So we saw a lot of accidents earlier on, Hawk Harold Adams. Practice, a lot of these drivers just couldn't stick it, I guess, together on all fours. A lot of spin outs. What are we going to see? What are you expecting in this 25 lap? Not a lot of time around a quarter mile in a Legend Series car. No, it's got, I believe we had an invert of like a five or six there. So you got some of your heavy hitters there. A couple rows back. Then you got quite a few cars there. They'll be running if If they run into green flag racing for a while, we will run into some lap traffic. But as you said earlier in the practice, we had a few cars spin, trying to get that grip out there. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, things could get a little dicey out there with a couple cautions. So here we go. You see the flagman, two to go at the line, two to go. Two more laps until we are green flag racing here at Salem Speedway on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. 
For everyone watching at TV across the nation, welcome in here at Salem Speedway as we get ready and set to go. They'll see the one to go at the spotter stand this time. Hawk Harrod Adams, here we go, getting ready and set. Lagman telling them one more hold up there. These guys are anxious to get this season underway. They were ready to go green flag racing, but the flagman says one more time. Let's take it easy. One more time around, get them tires warmed up. We'll see if we get a good, clean start next time around, we'll be ready to go. And if you're on YouTube and Facebook, this is your last chance. It has stopped. We are live at SalemSpeedway.tv. Here we go. Jacob Kinney off turn four leads us to the green flag. Here we go, Jacob Kinney now almost four wide down in turns number one. They're going to have to exit turn down the back straight away. The number 16 of Jacob Kinney right now, your leader. He looks to be leading lap number one. There you see a lot of cars almost getting off there. The number 16 Hawk leads lap one. Yeah, good start for the 16, Jacob Kinney now. Lincoln Kane to five, kind of hung up on that outside groove. Down the back straightaway already about two car. Clayton Bohannon now moves into the number three spot. He will follow the number 24 machine. That is Johnny Weaver. He is in second spot right now as now the number five machine is starting second. You do not want to be hung up on the outside. Yeah, he's still trying to get a grip on that outside. He's trying to hang on, but he's losing a couple spots here. Down the front stretch they go already putting laps on the board as now everyone almost single file you have to go back to the battle with the number 53 of brady to look for a double file now they will try to go single file 16 of jacob penny your leader out there looking good now with a few car length lead as they battle on back yeah down the back straightaway next time by gonna be i uh, believe 20 laps to go or so just waiting for that to update on the scoreboard Has now 20 laps to go. Already five laps down. It doesn't take long in a Legend Series call. Pretty good here so far. We was wondering about the grip. Everybody kind of spread out a little bit. Everybody being good. You have a battle for the lead as the number 16 slipped up the track a little bit. Clayton Bohannon thought about it. The number 24, Johnny Weaver, closes the door. Now slower traffic up ahead with these cars coming up. Not long, 18 laps to go this time by. Yes, I said earlier, if we stay green here, they will run into lap traffic, and it could become a big factor as your leaders are creeping up on a little bit of lap traffic right now. The number 16 of Jacob Kinney goes under no problem there. As, you know, you look at a lot of these cars trying not to go a lap down. You saw the number 19 there. They will be the first car a lap down. But now the number 16, here comes Clayton Bohannon. Now Clayton Bohannon on the inside. He will try to go to the number two spot. Clayton Bohannon in the 33 now takes up the number two spot. But no, don't look now. Here comes Xavier King, the 2023 Speed Drone Track Champion. He will take over the number three spot. Yeah, Johnny Weaver in that 24 slipped up a little bit. It really cost him a couple spots. He has moved back to fourth. Here we go, the number 16, he wants to go, and he wants to go now. Jacob Kinney now, 16 laps to go, as we have a spin on the back stretch. That is the number four, Kristen Hammer. Kristen Hammer, the young lady, goes around on the back stretch, and she will loop it, and that will be our first caution flag of the 2024 season, Hawk Harold Adams. Well, they went 10 laps green flag racing there, and they did really well, but then the four spinning out over there, going to bunch the field back up. Got a good battle up front here, I believe. The Jacob Kinney in the 16 has looked strong, but here comes Clayton Bohannon in the 33. He looked good getting up there to second. Crown Vix, Crown Vix on the short track. You need to be staging. Crown Vix on the short track. You need to be staging. We want to keep this program moving along today. Crown Vix on the short track. Be staging, making final preparations. So the number 84, you see that maroon car back there. That is Jack Receiver. He is the lucky dog. Now the lucky dog, last car on the lead lap, will get that lap back. So last, the first car a lap down will get their lap back, and that is the number 84 of Jack Receiver. So here we go. Clayton Bohannon there, Hawk Carroll Adams, looking to make his way up. He is now in the number two spot, and this is one person that could benefit from this caution flag. 
Yeah, no, about, no doubt about it. They've uh, squeezed this field up, so we're going to bunch them all up. Uh, officially showing nine laps on the board complete out of this 25 lapper, the Kentucky and the Ford Dealers 25 lap feature for the Diesel Boys Race Parts Legend Series. So, what you just heard, two to go and choose. Now, what this means is a choose cone. The leader chooses first, inside or out, and then everyone else in line will choose. Now, look what Xavier King just did. He was the first car to choose the outside, and now he will be lining up on the front row with the number 16 of Jacob Kinney. Yeah, interesting there. Clayton Bohannon electing to stay on that inside and be on the bumper of the 16. But Xavier King, we've seen him run very strong here last year. He decides he's going to try that outside on the front row, see if he can get that good jump. Hey, we've seen it a lot here at Salem Speedway. Don't know if we've seen it a lot on the inner track rather than the half mile big track, but here we go. We're going to find out because one to go at the line, 16 laps, yellow flag. That will be the remaining lap times. Now, you see the number 84, Xavier King. He has to stay right beside. There he goes. He scoots up to the outside, getting ready for the restart zone. Here we go. Back to the green flag for the first restart. Jacob Kinney leads us to the green flag. And they come down the stretch, green flag out. We're back underway. There goes Xavier King. How about that? That was the money move of the race. Xavier King, now your new leader. We had to spin there in turns one and two. We may go back caution again, and there it is. Caution out, caution is out. We have another couple cars turned over here in turn three. So we got all kinds of action going on. Yeah, we have a lot of action, and, and that is exactly what the 84 of Xavier King did not want to see because that was a money restart, that is for sure. But the caution flag was for the gray car there. Get a number on that one, kind of hard to see some of the numbers. But uh, then we had a second incident, which was not for the caution flag, happened over in turns number three of the inner track. So tough break there for a lot of these drivers. And I believe that was Douglas Vanover that uh, the caution came out for. But uh, tough break for an incident that happened over in turns number three. Race fans, don't forget, coming up next will be the Crown Vic on the short track. Those drivers need to be staging. And the main event today, going to be the 36-car main event here at Salem Speedway, 1,000 to the winner, coming up a little bit later on today. So Hawk Harrod Adams, Xavier King, how about that restart? Yeah, he got what he was hoping for there. He got a really good jump, good start on that restart. And then all of a sudden he sees the caution flag come out. He's got to be thinking, oh, my goodness, now I may have to do this again. We'll see how they line him up. I would assume it would be an exact same lineup as on that last restart. Really. We'll have to see exactly where they line him up at. So the Impact Rescue Safety Team working hard today, this afternoon. They were over there for the incident with the number 53 machine of Zachariah Brady as he was involved as well as one other Legend Series car. So that was the reason for the caution flag. So getting ready and set, as you see right there on SalemSpeedway.tv, a good look at the Wilcox Towing and Recovery record car. Looks like the number 30, 53 is Zachariah Brady going to be able to pull off on his own power. So this is going to be very interesting on this next choose and all of this good stuff. So so as you see, the Crown Vicks begin to make their way around in staging, getting ready for their main event coming up here shortly. That's going to be a good one. We always love the Crown Vicks. Short track racing here, you have to use that bumper. We see it every time. So Crown Vicks begin to make their way around for staging. But we still have a lot of work to do in this Legend Series race as that 53 of Zachariah Brady cannot keep that legend car fired, it seems, Hawk Harold Adams. Yeah, having a lot of issues there. Looks like they're going to hook him up and tow him on off there, give him a little extra assistance so we can get this race back underway. Race officials getting everybody sorted back out. 
If you notice the way they're lined up, they are putting them back the way they were on that last restart, so they get to re-choose. So that puts Jacob Kinney in the 16 back up on the point. Plate Bohan is still running second in the 33, and Xavier King third in the 84. So we'll see how the choose cone works out this time. So the, the question is, Clayton Bohannon, you got to use your head at this point, I would say. I mean, I mean, you, you knew that Xavier King was you choose the outside, and it made he made it work. So will Clayton Bohannon stay on the inside row two, or will Clayton say, hey, I'm going to pull the gamble. I'm going to go to the outside. But Clayton will get to choose before Xavier King. So we're going to see how this goes. This is the fun part of the choose cone, right? Yeah, I'm sure Clayton Bohannon, as you said, is in there thinking, well, maybe I should go on that outside. But does he have confidence on that outside with his car? So we'll see. So we're going to find out, does this time around, the choose cone lap is coming up. Or we're going to see what Clayton Bohannon wants to do. So here we go. The choose cone. Will he stay? And he will. So now here comes the 84. This is a replay maybe of what we saw just a moment ago. And Xavier King, we saw him at the Indianapolis Speed Drone. He knows how to work that high side. We're going to find out here momentarily. And also looking on back here to 24W, Johnny Weaver, he decided to stay on that inside track as well as the 19 John Robbins. Sixteen laps remain. Nine laps in the books here in the Diesel Boys Parts Carts Legend Series for the Kentucky and Ford Dealers 25 here this afternoon. Coming up next will be Crown Vic Racing on the short track. So here we go. Coming to the restart off turn number four. How is it going to shape up? We're going to find out. Jacob Kinney leads us back to the green flag. Green flag out, there goes Xavier King bolting out to that lead. Really good start that time. Yeah, we saw it textbook again. Xavier King knows how to get around here. Xavier King now your leader, as now he has the number five up on the outside. That is the Wisconsin driver, Lincoln Kane, right now, fighting for the top three, as he's going to try to go above the high side of Clayton Bohannon's number 33. Yeah, Lincoln Kane decided to go on with that high groove. It didn't work too well for him earlier, and he's struggling once again coming out of four. Here we go, 14 laps to go now. And yellow flag's going to fall again for the number 19 machine. That will be Ryan Krugler's Noblesville, Indiana entry, the 19K. He goes around, should be a quick cleanup here as he just one car, single spin. As we have a few more laps, 14 laps to go here in the Legend Series. And looks like he's going to fire that car by him slow. So here we go, lining them back up. So there you go. We saw it again. Now Xavier King gets to choose, Hawk huh? Carroll Adams. Xavier King does have the lead, so I'm sure he's going to take that inside. So we'll have to see now. Second place is 16, Jacob Kinney. We'll see if what he wants to do, if he wants to stay on the inside or outside, and Clayton Bohannon there third in the 33 again. Got Johnny Weaver fourth, Lincoln Kane now showing as fifth. 11 laps completed shown on the board out of this 25-lapper Kentucky and a Ford dealer's 25-lap feature. Don't forget, race fans, the main event today going to be the big one. 36 cars going to start the main event here this afternoon. $1,000 going to the winner in the Crown Vix. It's going to be a fun afternoon of racing here. After this one will be the short track Crown Vix preparing for their on-site plumbing, heating, and air Crown Vix series for the Hoosier Lottery 50. That will be concluding this one and the on-track interviews. Hawk Harold Adams for the Legend Series. making sure the lineup is correct. This time will be two to go at the line and the choose. So they will choose this time at the start-finish line, either inside 
or out. Now, here's the question. Who's going to choose in that second starting spot? Where will the number 16 machine of Jacob Kinney go? So we're going to find out right now. Here it is, the choose cone. Xavier King has looked awful good on his restarts. We'll see if 16 wants to go to the outside or not. He's going to stick to the inside. There goes Clayton Mohannon to the outside of the front row. So, yes, he had a chance, and I, I think that is going to be the right call. Now, you have to be aggressive on this restart. Now, here we go. We're all getting them set up. Next time by, going to be one to go at the line. Xavier King and the number 16 in second. Now, Clayton Bohannon, he's on the outside front row. He has scored in third. That is just the beneficiary of the cone choose. So here we go, one to go at the line, Hawk. One more time around, we'll go ahead and see if we can get back green flag ration. 11 laps completed out of 25. Xavier King looking awfully strong today so far in that 84 ride. We'll see if he can hang on here, see if anybody's got anything for that 84 car. Getting ready to go green this time around. Here we go for the restart. Xavier King going to lead us to the green flag off turn number four for the restart for the Legend Series race. And we are underway. How aggressive will Clayton Bohannon be? Clayton Bohannon gets a little bit loose. He'll try to stay to the high side. He's going to dip down to the inside. He'll take over the number two spot down the back straightaway. Xavier King, Clayton Bohannon, and Kenny's number 16. Good job there by Clayton Mohan in the 33. He gave it a shot there, but he was able to dip down underneath, not lose any position, so he's right back there in second. Here we go, exiting turns number two right now. Laps are ticking just about over the halfway point. 12 laps up on the board. Xavier King, Clayton Mohan, and the number 16 of Jacob Kinney, your top three. Down the front stretch, they go. Everyone back through the pack hawk, jockeying for position. Yeah, they're in the mid-pack there. They're kind of jostling around for positions there. Trying to settle in, try to get the green flag racing the rest of the way. We see Xavier King really looking strong, trying to pull away from the field now, Will. 14 laps up on the board. Xavier King begins to pull away from second place. Clayton Bohannon going down the back straightaway. Jacob Kinney trying to reel him in, but now everyone kind of single file all over the racetrack. Now 10 laps to go here at Salem Speedway. They go single foul now around turns three and four. Get ready to complete lap number 16. We see your leader, Xavier King, going to run into a few lap cars now, safely getting by the first one there into turn one. 16 laps upon the board. Xavier King, Clayton Bohannon not letting him get too far out of vision now. Right now heading down to turns number three and four. So Clayton Bohannon now pulling away, and number 16, Jacob Kinney goes way up the track, now three wide down the front straight. Now the number 16 up on the high side. That is no man's land. So that's going to allow the number five machine to get under him to take care of that position as well. So now the 24 machine of Weaver going to move into the number two three spot. Yeah, Kenny in the 16 got a little high there and then got in behind a lap car and really has put himself off the pace there, has lost a lot of spots. So down the back straight away they go into turns number three and four. Another lap led by Xavier Kings, number 19 lap up on the board. Next time by, going to be five laps to go. Five laps to go next time by. Clayton Bohannon trying to reel in Xavier Kings, number 84. Clayton Bohannon and Xavier King, two-car breakaway for the number one spot. They head on down the back straightaway. Less than five laps to go here at Salem Speedway. Xavier King trying to pull away, but Clayton Bohannon, 33, really keeping pace with him now. Those two have pulled away from the pack as they get through a few back markers here. We'll see if that plays into it, but the 33 is right there. Laps winding down here at Salem Speedway. 22 laps up on the board. Three laps to go. Two, two laps to go next time by. Two car breakaway. Two laps to go this time by Xavier King. Of course, we talked about it. Former legend champion. Yellow flag's going to come out. Oh, close call there. We talked about Xavier King. Xavier King, a former mini late model figure eight champion at Oval at the Indianapolis Speed Drum, also picked up a Legend Series championship up there at the Indianapolis Speed Drum in that number 84. 
Caution flag comes out with two laps to go for the nine via Vanover. He's going to get that beautiful gray and orange car getting ready and set to go in the right direction. Coming up next will be the Crown Vicks on the small track. Crown Vicks on the small track. You will be next up on the docket today. Don't forget about the main event coming up a little bit later on. 36 cars starting in that Crown Vic race. 50 lap shootout. That's going to be a good one. But first, we got to get through this Legend Series event. 23 laps up on the board right now. Xavier King, Clayton Bohannon, and the number 24 machine of Johnny Weaver. That is your top three. So this one coming down to the end. 23 laps up on the board. Now, this will be the last choose rule here going into effect. 23 laps up on the board. Crown Vic short track drivers, you should be in staging and ready to go. Crown Vic short track drivers, I see a lot of you staged over there in turns number four. We appreciate that. You will be next for the Hoosier Lottery 50 this afternoon at Salem Speedway. One to go at the line. Here we go. So now Weaver chooses the high side. Clayton Bohannon right behind Xavier King's number 84, getting ready for the restart. Wave that one off, one to go here at the line. Of course, we want to thank Donnie Mingus coming on board as the restart zone. The big track going to be the Donnie Mingus restart zone all year along here at Salem Speedway. Two lap shootout. Here we go. The Diesel Boys Carts and Parts Legend Series. Who's going to pick up the Kentucky and Ford dealers? 25. Xavier King brings us to the restart. White flag next time by Clayton Bohemans on the inside of Weaver for the number two spot. He overtakes that. White flag this time by one more lap to do it here in the first opening race this afternoon. Still green coming to checkered flag this time by, and that's all she wrote off turn number four. It'll be Xavier King picking up the win, followed by, ow, at the line. It's going to be close there. It will be Clayton Bohannon is what it says on the pylon, so he will be second. Weaver in third, and that's how they're going to round out today's Kentucky and a Ford Dealers 25 for the Legend Series. That is the first race of the afternoon. Coming up next will be Crown Vicks on the short track. Coming up next will be the short track for the Crown Vicks Series. As we get ready and set to go for today's afternoon activity for the Crown Vicks. Getting ready and set. And with that being said, I'm going to throw it down to my colleague, Hawk Harold Adams, with the top three in Red Ball and Recycling, Victory Lane. All right, thank you, Will Greenwell. We're going to visit the top three of the first race of the season here at Salem Speedway. Cars rolling up here now. All right, got our top three down here right now. They're unbuckling, getting out. We'll have a word with each one of these guys. Got this new sound system, new microphone here. Last year we had some cutouts, but working good now. Hey, he's out of his car. Let's hear for him. Xavier King. Heavy word here with the 84 Xavier King. Xavier, uh, you all look like you had a good race car here today. You know, you on those uh, restarts, you choose that outside. You look very strong and confident out there. What would you think about this car here today? Yeah, on, the, on them restarts, I, I knew if we, we wanted to get a shot to win it, we had to take a chance. And 
on that first one, we got out in front and the caution came out. So we had to run it back and I said, let's take the chance and try to win this thing. And felt car felt good after that and just kind of held my pace. I seen Bohannon there behind me and I just want to thank him for running me clean there towards the end. And it was a, all in all a good race. Yeah, it was. Like I said, when you looked really strong, you had that first restart, you jumped out there to the lead. You had to do it all again. We was wondering if you was going to try it again, you know, uh, but you looked like you were very confident. You jumped out there to a good lead, so you had a good, strong car here today. Who do you want to thank for getting you to victory lane here today? I got to thank John Robbins, Robbins Racing, Beck Transport, Ferguson Brothers Construction, Frederick's Contractors, um, Scott, Bugs, uh, Keegan, Everybody who helps us out in the shop all week, it, it means a lot, and it's the reason we're here talking to you right now. All right, there you have it, your winner of the Legends Series race, the first event of the day, Xavier King in the 84. All right, let's find Mr. Clayton Bohannon. He's a man of few words. We're going to make him talk a little bit. Hey, that was a great race there, Clayton. You know, you, you, you tried there up front there. Looked like Xavier's going to run away with it there at the end, but you hung right there with him. Then you had a, a wild finish right there at the end, just winning that second-place spot away from the 24. Yeah, it was a great, clean race. The caution def definitely isn't what I wanted. I was hoping I could get Xavier and some lap traffic, but, yeah, it was a good, clean race. Y'all had a really good run there. Of course, like I say, you had a great run there at the end there. You had a good battle with the 24. So it was great to see a great way to start out the season here at Seattle Speedway. Who you want to thank your sponsors. Everybody helped you get out here to this good run here for uh, 2024. I'd like to thank all the people that came out to watch me today. My family, my dad, my mom, my grandparents. And, uh, yeah, that's it. There you have it. Clayton Bohannon in the 33. All right, let's see if we can get the 24 driver over here. Where is he at? Johnny Weaver, you had a great run there today. Got third place. You're up here anyway. You had a great run there right there to set, uh, set for second place. But you were right up there in the mix most of the time. So what would you think about this run here today? Well, we had a really great field today. I mean, we had, what, like six, seven cars within a tenth and a half of each other. So that's really, really nice to have some good competition here. Uh, did you get my hold? Yes, yeah, so we got some good competition here. Uh, I thought I got Clayton off on, on the line. I'd like to see the video just for the fun of it. But um, Clayton's a great driver, clean driver. Xavier's a great driver, clean driver. It's wonderful to um, be out here with a great group of drivers here today. All right, you got up here in the top three. So you get to thank your sponsors and anybody who really helped you get up here to this third place finish today. Gotcha. I'd like to thank my um, mom and dad, my friend Brian. He's not here today. He's part of our crew. My girlfriend Maggie. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Simply Cheddar. Um, Renner Nixon Body Works. I, I like to thank Tim Brockhouse for helping us get these brakes installed. Nick Pistone, um, the U.S. Legend Cars for making a um, reliable engine and all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot, Johnny Weaver. How about a hand for all these legend drivers getting us started off well here for the 2024 season opener here at Salem Speedway. Back up to you, Will. Thank you very much.